So the new Livewire Volt release that just got pushed today includes one of my very first PRs to Livewire Volt library, and that is the ability to make a class component with the PHP Artisan Make Volt command if your project has already been scaffolded out using Breeze with Livewire Volt, the class API. So let's see what this kind of changes. It's just a quality of life update, but something that I've desperately wanted, and I was like, hey, why don't we build it. So uh, if you were using Livewire Volt before, one of the things that I like using is the class-based API. For example, if I scaffolded out this Breeze project and it's using class-based, I like having the class stub automatically attached anytime I create a new Volt component. So if I was to go into the terminal, PHP artisan make Volt, and I was to say this is like a playground component, it's going to be created, we'll go into playground, but oops, this is the functional API. Well, okay, it's not that bad. I mean, you could just erase this um, and then, you know, have, I think you, I always have to look. It's like, okay, it's using Livewire Volt component and then you create new class extends component. Okay, it's not that bad, but it's still a quality of life buff that I would rather not have to do this or usually what I end up doing is just deleting and then I... You know, I rerun the command with dash dash, dash, dash class. Okay, that's not bad, um, but could we make this better? For example, in testing with Livewire or with Laravel Pest, for example, if you choose Pest with Breeze, um, what happens is it will automatically check if you're using Pest or PHP unit and any uh, PHP artisan make test command will just use pest or php unit depending on what you're actually using for the project so can we do that with livewire volt yes we can why don't we update to get the latest version of livewire volt so composer uh, update livewire slash volt it's going to be version 1.6.5 and let's go ahead and check out what this does so now if i was to run php artisan make volt playground all of a sudden it scans and basically just says, okay, is there a component that is class-based? If so, let's use class. If there's not, then we're just going to default to the functional API. So let's take a look and go to playground and look at that. We have a class stub already to go for us. So if you're using the functional base, it's just going to use the functional by default. But if for some reason you did want to create um, a new Volt component, and you wanted this to be functional, let's just say uh, new playground, you can pass in the functional class and that would be uh, created for you as well. So hopefully a quality of life buff for those who are uh, us who appreciate and love the class base uh, structure within Livewire Volt. Now you don't have to remember to pass in that optional parameter of dash dash class. So keep creating.